Welcome gamers to another edition of Boomer Game Reviews. Today I am going over Game Pass Core. I will review all the games and let you know if they're safe to play. There's a bunch of games on here that have security risks that are pretty bad. So uh, yeah, that's one of those things I thought would be interesting to go through and talk about. Alright, so uh, first off is Among Us. This game is pretty good. It's interesting. I mean, it's a, any concept, but it has three security issues. So if you click on it and you go into store and you go to details and you go all the way over to security and permissions, that's where you'll find all these different things and specific information I'll let you know. Um, Astroneer has three security violations. That's just kind of wandering around. It's kind of like No Man's Sky except no shooting. No shooting sky. Um, Celeste only has one, which is the server. It's one of the higher rated, like the 8-bit kind of throwback games. I haven't really done too much on it. Chivalry looked like fun, but with it having uh, three security violations, I have not played that one. Um, the first one I got to play a little bit, and that was pretty cool. All right, so here's Dead Cells. This has zero security violations. But I really have not been a fan of games that look like this. It's just hard for me to get into them. I mean, maybe something handheld portable would be kind of cool. But, yeah, just I, I really can't, you know, like these games for some reason. Uh, Descenders, it was okay. Not great by any means. That one has three security violations. Right. Dishonored 2. That one actually is a pretty solid game. It's probably one of the higher rated ones on here. It's probably like eight and a half or nine overall. The first one I think was a little bit higher rated, but if you include the DLCs, it's really worth it. All right, Doom is another one that's a really loved game. Um, I haven't played this one. I played the, whatever the 16 one, 2016 version was, and it was pretty dang good. Um, this one has zero security violations as well. Fable, that's been an amazing game. I love the concept of it. So it basically, if you're a hero, you'll be, you know, like the super buff, you know, just the standard prince looking guy. A prince, not the prince. And, uh, yeah, but if you're evil, you'll look like Marilyn Manson by the end of it. You'll be all skinny and have all these tattoos and look kind of messed up. It's, it's kind of cool. I like that that visually is there. Fallout 4, amazing game. I loved all of them. It's probably one of the weaker ones. I mean, everything before 4 I thought was amazing. 1 and 2, it's a little niche for people. That one had zero security violations on it as well. Um, this Fallout 76 was terrible. I mean, it's kind of... I don't know. It's interesting. You can have some fun with this. Unless you have a buddy or two to play it. But yeah, it's hard to recommend. That has zero security violations. Firewatch sadly has three. It looked like an interesting story. Um, looked kind of fun. But yeah, I just really don't think my security is worth it. All right. And now I'm getting into two of the worst offenders for security violations. These ones have six. Forza and Gears 5. Six different security violations. And some of them are as bad as stuff like it, it looks like it basically can rewrite code into your computer, in your game system. You know, basically a virus is what it's saying. It can, you know, change and manipulate files in your system and stuff. I mean, who, why anyone would play any of these games giving away permissions like that? I actually, when they changed it on Gears 5, tried to get a refund and these jerks would not give me one. Because they changed the security on them. That, that's just terrible. So Gang Beasts has three security violations. Golf with your friends has zero. And I've heard it's a pretty good game. Grounded has three. I played it a bit. It's kind of fun. But like a lot of these games, if you play the story mode, and then you hop into multiplayer, nothing carries over. So when you thought you built some gear and was going along pretty good, eh, you have nothing. Halo 5, these are always regarded pretty high. I think this one was a little lower than most of their have been. 
That adds zero security violations, surprisingly. Halo Wars 2, the first one was a favorite. So, better graphics, um, yes, this is a perfect game almost across the board. A steady 9 or so, I'd give it. Hellblade was pretty dang cool. Um, I don't want to give a spoiler away, but once you know the concept of the game, and that something's a little off about it, uh, kind of defeats the fun of it. But uh, yeah, it's a great game otherwise. Human Fall Flat has... Three, it looks like. Three violations. Inside and Limbo were both great games, but as soon as Microsoft got them, they got security permissions on them, so I can't play either. Basically, you're just a kid running away from tons of stuff that wants to kill you in the first one. Uh, Ori was pretty good too, but that's got three security violations as well, which I, I really don't get. It didn't used to either. Overcooked? That is zero violations, but... Really, who wants to play a game where you're just chopping up food or whatever? Payday has zero. Um, really, if you're wanting to do that, but have a way more immersive experience, just do, um, like the Crime Bros. Rocky. Actually, had some pretty decent highs. Um, GTA does, of course. Uh, Saints Row. I mean, you name it. There's a bunch of better places that have done this better. The one game where you're just stealing stuff just seems, I don't know, kind of redundant. Power wash, three security violations, and it really, I don't know, it's one of these I would not have fun with. I could see how it could be. Uh, Psychonauts, that has three security violations. Slay the Spire has zero. And it, yeah, actually looked like a pretty decent game. It's one of those card managing games where you're, you know, basically combating with cards. Spiritfarer had... Two of them. Two security violations. Stardew Valley had zero. That's if you want like Animal Farm, but you don't have it on oh no Animal Farm. Animal Crossing, that's what it is. Yeah, if you want Animal Crossing but don't have a switch, this is pretty much the closest thing you'll get to it. Um State of Decay, the first one was great, but this one has a bunch of security violations, so I really can't recommend it as four. Supliminal looked pretty fun, but uh, it again has uh, three security violations, so nope. Shredder has three, so nope. Those games are pretty fun, though. So Elder Scrolls, it's kind of fun, but it is a commercial. There's, I don't know, almost $700 worth of DLC, and they don't mind begging you to buy it at every screen. You'll find stuff in the game. Oh, you need DLC to use this. Oh, you need DLC to make that. It, it, it it's so annoying. I, I I went from loving it to I hate it. <laughs> totally reliable has three security violations. All right, unpacking has three. So I don't have no clue why it's so popular. I mean, vampires aren't exactly known for taking on hordes. So why a game that looks bad and is really bad <laughs> is uh this high rated i don't get that one had three security violations as well so now that i mentioned the security violations let me show you a little bit what i'm talking about i'll go to one of the most egregious ones so i can show you and these aren't things to just take lightly i mean it's full access to everything on your xbox and sometimes computer too, if it has crossplay. All right, so look at all this. Access to your internet to access a server. All right, that's almost the closest thing to a standard one on here. But then it gets a lot worse. Well, like internet connection is about the same thing, but they word them differently sometimes. Do you use your, as a network? Generate code dynamically. That means basically adding a virus into it. Use your microphone. That do, That doesn't mean you have to have it actively being used, playing it, using it. No, it'll use it on its own. And then whatever the human interface device protocol is, uh, that just, so if you had like a camera or something going on through it, it could initiate that and start it up. But after it has access to everything on your system. Isn't that lovely? I'll go back and I'll show you the Gears of War one. Um, yeah, I mean, these are... Some of the highest rated games ever, but I won't even play them just because of all these messed up security things. 
I, I think my privacy is worth a lot more than playing some mediocre games. All right, look how egregious this stuff is. Install additional software. Look at that. <laughs> it really does say that. Re uh, write registry entries and files that are not cleaned up on in uninstall. In other words, it's a virus. Right. And Microsoft is behind most of these games and buddy-buddy with these companies to have them. So all these security violations is Microsoft directly doing that to you. All right, just be aware, man. I mean, look at this stuff. I, I, I can't even fathom this stuff, man. How, how someone would agree to this blindly. I mean, think how many kids have all their stuff being ran through by Xbox. Xbox just got in trouble for all their violations and their stuff for kids. I mean, it's bad. <laughs> When you have games that hack your system, yeah, that says a lot about Game Pass Core, Microsoft, and all their values. Um, it's really hard to recommend an Xbox, and this is the cheapest way to have online where you can play games. Uh, there's a couple games that are like free to play, where you don't have to have online membership, but otherwise, it's like ten dollars a month or a year one is a year card of this is sixty bucks. They don't like to sell those, though. Those are hard to find. And if you do buy it through the system, it'll auto-sign you up. So any money you have on there, or if you have it on a card or whatever, it'll automatically deduct it after the amount of time you bought. So say you bought three months of it. After the fourth month, it'll start charging you at the fourth month. Yeah, How's that lovely? You have any kids they've stolen from? When you have a morally corrupt company, that's where you can expect stuff like this. I really, <laughs> Xbox has done everything to make me not a fan, and I'm not a happy customer at all. I love my Nintendo Switch, and yeah, I've basically been selling off my Xbox collection, and anything I can get on Switch, I've been buying up. So that says where it is. Um, that's, you know, everything you need to know about the Game Pass Core games and the security violations that are quite egregious. If you, you know, care about your privacy at all, um, look at the ones that I mentioned. Um, yeah, my writing is not the greatest, but here's a little cheat sheet scoreboard again. Yeah. I was surprised there was actually 15 of them with uh, zero security violations. But on the other hand, almost all those ones are five bucks or under, or should be, so... Yeah, it's not like you're getting an amazing library and, you know, there are puffed up prices and you get hundreds of dollars of games. Uh, that's yeah, quite debatable. There's very few quality and very few current games on here. So, yeah, it's just kind of ugly. But at least now, you know, this has been Boomer Game Reviews.